Welcome back. This is a I just don't want to call it a review. I don't know. I guess that's what it is. Uh, uh, Fruit Plastic Collector's Edition Volume 10. Uh, this time we have Kakeru up on the front. This would have, um, I forgot to mention. This, this actually came out on the 21st of February. I just didn't have the time to do it yesterday because I was, I had the, I, if you saw my previous video, it was the, um, the review of the Super Groupies Fruits Basket watches and, um, bracelet. So I just didn't, I just didn't have time to do it with you. But I had the time to pick up the book, I just didn't have the time to do the little, my little video on it yesterday because I got stuck doing that and writing a paper. Um, anyway. So we have the, we have Volume 10, which is, a uh, Kakeru on the front. And then we got Machi! Machi! He's my favorite character, Machi! So excited. Um, and then the spine. We have Kakeru and Machi. It's kind of a... It's it's not the same color. Like, this is, I think, the second time they've had a blue theme to it uh, for the, the colors. And this one's a... It's not a royal blue like the other one kind of was in terms of the darker text. It's a... Uh, I don't know what kind of... It's it's a certain kind of blue. I know what the name of it is. I'm just blanking on what it's actually called. What the name is. It's in my brain. I just... Blank, I'm just forgetting what it's actually called. But there's a certain kind of blue that this is reminis reminiscent of. Anyway. We got the um, So we got, of course, the front cover, which has Komaki. So it's kind of funny, because up until this point, you always had all the other characters had a certain symbol representing them. And in this case, it's... Kakeru's symbol is Komaki eating steak. It's kind of funny. Um, so we got the color pages. So pretty. I like how it's kind of like Toru's in the black dress and Nikito's in the white. Very, very interesting. Very kind of symbolic in a lot of ways. Uh, we have... Here are the original covers down here for volumes 19 and 20. I have this one. Uh, oh yes, this picture. Then we have the very, what I like to call the very controversial picture because it's constantly mislabeled as being something other than it's not, which I'll get to it in a minute. I'll come back to that one in a minute once I'm done here. Um, and then just the, the, uh, the contents page and then the start of the volume. Um, but as far as I know, it's 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 the same as it's always been, um, and it's just the ending here. So we have um, the end, uh, the thank you page with Kokano and Machi on it. It's so so pretty, and then a trans translator's notes, a black and white picture of Kokano and Machi, um, and then a preview for. Chapter 120. It's kind of weird, but they have a preview for chapter 120 in here. Small, short preview. And then, uh, uh, advertisements for Twinkle Stars and Lisa Lot, and which is Forest. Um, and that's the end of it. And then, I guess in a sense, this is Machi's symbol. I, I didn't. I've never known what Machi symbol really would. I, really, I guess it's supposed to be like the snow prints, the the, the footprints in the snow. But I always. But I also picture Machi symbol being like the little Mogetta uh, figurine or plush that Yuki gave her at one point, or even the uh, the red maple leaf that he gave her at one point. I was. I always kind of pictured it as those those being Machi symbol. Now, if you could somehow combine all three of them, I could. Th that would probably be the best. Um, other than that, it's, it's the same as it's always been. Um, now, uh, I'm going to talk about this controversial picture over here, what I mean by that. Uh, let's look back to it. So this picture, for some odd reason, I understand why people think it's this way, but a lot of people see this picture and go, oh, it's, it's Kyoko and Katsuya. But it's not actually Ky Kyoko and Katsuya, this is actually Ritsu and Kureno, because this is during the Zodiac Dance, and that's because... Natsuki Takia made, pretty much every time it changed years in the real world, she always made a little commem a commemorative picture of it, with the exception of, like, Hiro, not Hiro, with the exception of, uh, go from it going to Yame to Rin, that's one of the ones that she left out, she didn't actually have. Or when it was going from, 
uh, from when I was going to um, uh, Tiger to Rabbit in the real world as well. She didn't have that one. She didn't have that one because Kisa hadn't been properly introduced. But it, but it, it's very obvious that this is, and I'll show you in a second why this is actually Kurano and Ritsu. And it's partially because, mainly it's because of the hair. You, know, you can tell because of the hair color. What I mean by that is, if I go back to volume 8, over here, we have this picture. Right here. Let me get it all in one thing. For this picture. See? It's not, first of all, this is definitely not, let's see if I, I'm trying to get them both in there. This is definitely not Katsuya over here. So this is definitely Kurino because the hair is an auburn color, which is the color of Kurino's hair. While Katsuya's hair is like this dark, I want to say like black or bluish kind of color, it's not the same. So it's definitely not Katsuya in this picture. And second of all, the hair color of the, the these two is... She, this is Kyoko, which has a, she definitely has a more orange hair color. Her, her hair is more similar to Hio, Kyo's hair color, while Ritsu's is not as orange. It's not as bright as, as orange, but you can tell. But I understand why this, like in terms of like the black and white version of this picture, why it can be mistaken for Katsuya and Kyoko because of like the whole butterfly things. The whole butterflies, and of course, Katsuya, not Katsuya, Kyoko tends to be symbolized by butterflies, but it's not. This is Kurano and Ritsu for the zodiac names. Uh, Alright, so now that I've said that, I've said my piece about that, um, that's really about it. Um, I'll have another one. I'll have the comparison between the Japanese and English version. There's a, Jap yeah, a Japanese and English version coming hopefully pretty soon. Um, and. I have a couple more things that I ordered, and they should be coming in, I want to say, within, I don't know, this week, I don't know if it'll be sometime this week, or I'll, if it's not sometime this week, it'll probably be sometime next week they should come in. I have some things I ordered that are fruits basket related, um, and then I should, and of course, not this week in particular, because this week I've been busy, this week has been a bit of hectic with school, because I, this is the first time I've ever, this is the first paper I've had to write for this semester. So that was, that was due this week, so obviously not this week, but so hopefully in the future I should be working on the comparisons between the uh, Tokyo Pop and the Yen Press versions of Fruits Basket, and then the DVD and Blu-ray comparison. Um, but again, one, step at a, one little step at a time here. Um, but other than that, that's uh, really about it, so uh, bye for now and thanks for watching.